Oh my goodness, it is freezing. Oh. Come for a morning stroll. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that way there. Whoops. Already made a wrong turn. Wrong turn, Rob. <laughs> Get stuffed. That's us. How good is this? Meet group leaders only. Here we go, baby. DGR 2021. This year is a special one. Two reasons. One, it's the 10th year anniversary. And two, I'll show you. I'll show you. Come with me, Romina. And the reason is because we're, uh, we're the mid group leaders. And like, I'm the worst for directions, so uh, good luck to anyone that's following me. <laughs> we're gonna get coffee. So that was like the coldest ride that we've ever done in our lives. Oh. Woo! It was cold. Much needed. What time do we get up? I got up at six. We got up at six. And that's early for us. I just finished yeah. the show. Oh, yeah, she finished the show last night. We went to bed at like 2.30 or something. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it in my, um, my retinas. Fantastic day. That is Rocco. This guy is the he's the other founder for Scram CC. So we've got Mark Hauer, who's the founder of Bloody DGR, who you've met before. Oh hey Rob, didn't see you there. And there's yeah, that's the other guy. How are you, Ramsey Rocco? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the boys. The Cheers. boys. Oh, I don't have a cart. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah, yeah, cool. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay. actually working. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Na, 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 hey! What the hey! heck? The boys. <laughs> How good is this? Hey, hey bro. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. Ryan. Good, good to meet you. One, two. Boys, right. One, two, three. Alright. Yes, I'm my G. I think that's the original. Alright, what a shame. Here's the clicker up here. Oh, yeah. Did you feel that? <laughs> there he is. Mr. Nick James Fraser, how are you? Himself. He's a photographer and he's an absolute lord. Our 60s bike, this thing looks <laughs> so good. It is very rat bike. It has been built from multiple different pieces of mini vehicles. <laughs> the front end is entirely built on the roadside with a Leatherman after I hit a kangaroo at 130. How's this man? This looks like not factory. But is that is that how it actually that's, is? That's just been through the ring. That's so gnarly. No split pin or anything? Just like, yeah. Stuff it. That's sick. True DGR styles, bro. I like it. Congrats. Thank you. So here we are at DGR Sydney. We're at the entertainment quarter. Everyone's starting to rock up. Everyone's having a fantastic time. DGR is a massive worldwide event where you dress up like a cool old person or old school person. Oh, it's fading. You rocked up. Up, what, what did you rock up on? That thing looks sick. <laughs> IP250, 81. Oh, that looks so good, man. I was going to park on the grass. Yeah, I would do some wheelies and stuff. <laughs> raising money, raising funds for mental health awareness and prostate cancer. So if you're an old gentleman or older gentleman, 40 and above, get your prostate checked. Do it, do it right now. Do it today. Do it tomorrow. It's a Moto Leaders meetup. we got things to do, people to see, places to be. Oh, man, I've got to wee. I should be a rapper. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. How are you, bro? <laughs> nice work on this. Is this day. going on the vlog? It is definitely going on the vlog. What's up? What's Moto up? Feels fan right here. Yeah. Need to be on it. The guys in the mid group. Uh, did you get all that? Yes. Uh, of course I did, because I listened. <laughs> yeah, I did. I just ask her all the time. I have a question. I don't know where I'm riding. <laughs> this is Dewey. Dewey raised like the most money ever for DGR. I'm surprised. Like, did you win? Have you won the thing? Uh, no, I haven't, but it's not about winning, it's about, no, it's about yeah, no, you it's raise about as winning. much money as we can. <laughs> That's about oh, it. Oh, good. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Ooh, look at him. I am, uh, I am French Rob today. Oh, French Rob. <laughs> I am French Rob. Oh, salut, monsieur. <laughs> yeah. I like your beret. And you're very French as well. Yes. We are French. I can officially tell you that every single one of you here, you are a part of the highest fundraising city in DGR globally. Give yourselves a big round. That is incredible. You all should be very, very proud. To add to that, we're also celebrating 10 years of DGR and this is where it started. So I'm incredibly proud. You should be too. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ramsey. Uh, I'm one of the hosts for DGR Sydney. To my right here, we have Mr. Paul Ricketts 
who is our co-host. Paul has been supporting the ride for over eight years and is absolutely instrumental in its success, along with all our volunteers. You're gonna see people walking around with the DGR logo on their backs. They're the ones who know the route, who have been on test rides, who have supported us for years. I really urge you, if you see them, say good day, say thank you. For those of you who don't know, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride did start back in 2012, and it was started by our very own Mr. Mark Hower. DGR, as of this year, has raised 40 million Australian dollars for men's health. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to keep those applause going because I'm going to get Mark up on the stage. He's going to have a little chat, say a few words, all unstructured as usual. He needs some hype, so bring him on. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Ramsey. Thanks, guys. Ramsey pretty much rendered the majority of my speech useless because I had lots of stats to share with you. So I'd like to uh, say thank you to Ramsey for that. I will keep it short and sweet, guys. It has been 10 years of DGR. It has grown to 850 cities. It's been a lot of riders. We've had over 350,000 riders over the course of the last 10 years. To act like I thought this was going to uh, be how it played out would be completely wrong. Every single year I'm absolutely blown away. Every year we set these goals and I usually set them pretty bloody low because I don't like being disappointed. And every single year we are absolutely blown away. This year we thought would raise 2 million US dollars. I think we're currently at about 3.6 or 3.7. And given that we've raised that much and we've had two events in the, in the last eight months, I think it's pretty spectacular and just shows how strong the actual event is. I would like to do a lot of thank yous actually. We've got some fantastic ambassadors here as well. We'll have them up on stage shortly to talk to you. We've got a hell of a lot of volunteers and I know that Ramsey touched on that, but literally there are over thousands of volunteers around the world and we can't do it without them. And whenever anyone sits there and looks at Ramsey and I or even Mikey and sits there and goes, guys, what you've achieved is crazy. It's crazy, but it's only crazy because we've got so many crazy people that are supporting us and so many people that are willing to support the cause. Over the last 10 years, we've literally had probably about a thousand people be in touch with us by email or phone call and say, hey, if it wasn't for you, we'd be dead. I guess that's the emotional blackmail that continues to drive us to be here <laughs> and to help out as much as possible. We get the parents, we get the kids, and we get messages from some pretty special people and we try and share their stories as much as often. And that being said, if you guys have any stories, this is our hometown, make sure you get in touch because we'd love to showcase them. I do want to take a moment to, to think about the one of our friends that we lost along the way, Ollie Keaton. He's left his fantastic wife, Nina, who was a part of the Throttle Rolls. Uh, he, he passed away a few months ago. And so our thoughts are with him today. I know that I'm definitely riding with him in my heart uh, and every other person that we've lost along the way. This is life, we are gonna lose people, but our goal here is to try and keep those people around as long as possible. A massive thank you to Ramsey, Mikey, and Nick, the DGR core team. Seriously, a huge amount of work. As big as this event is, and as many rides as it is, and as many rides as we oversee, it's literally four key people that are doing all the work. We need to hire more people, so if you're looking for a job, let me know. I'm gonna pass it off to Ramsey. I just wanna say absolutely thank you to every single person for donating, being a part of it, spreading the message. You know, the females that are supporting us as well, every year that tends to grow, and I've seen more female riders today than I have any other rides, so a massive round of applause to them. pass you back over to the most female male I know. <laughs> I take that as an absolute compliment. All right, here we go. We are ready to rock and roll. Are you ready to rock and roll? I mean, is ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to rock and roll. Speeches are over. Speeches are done. We're about to, uh, we're about to kick it. <laughs> I always get like a little bit, a little bit nervous. All righty, here we go. Stands are getting up. I mean, is getting on the back. This is it, eh? This is, uh, this is it. This is it. We are ready to rock and roll, baby. What the heck? I've got no power. What the hell? So got, oh, it's just come on now? Oh, it's just a gauge. What the hell? That's whack. That was heaps whack. Stressing me out. Are you serious? <laughs> uh. Alright. Holy crap. What was it? It was just off. The plug came out of the speedo. <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah. We're good. Holy crap, that was a stressful one. I'm like sweating bullets now. There's Nick. He made it. He literally like left where I live 15 minutes before this all happened. What a guy. What a guy. Shall I go? Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Yes. And away we go. Haha, <laughs> yeah. How good does this look, hey? Ooh. Wow, there is he. Hey? Oh, thanks, bro. Thank you. And here we go now. We're uh, just taking this nice little sweeper over to La Perouse. Oh, not La Perouse. Volklu's. Oh, there's Tito and Elise. Tito and Elise! Tito and Elise! They just got married recently. Yeah! Yeah, they just got married. They had their full Ural in their reception, just driving straight up the thing. Yeah, that's sick. He's taking that thing everywhere, man. He's driven right across the Nullarbor, like the longest road in Australia. It's freaking huge, right in the middle of the desert, man. On a Ural, a Russian <laughs> motorbike. I don't know how it survived. He had some issues, but wow, well, so I tip my hat to him. <laughs> Oh, this guy back there, he was full on, he ran out the road, he's like shaking his fist, like, damn you motorcyclists. He was so off it, man, yelling, he's like yelling. These are like some cool little twisties here, through Volklu's. I love it, that's so good. How good is that? City, oh, that was a big one. This is a sick little part here, I love it. Look at it, tasty. By the water. Uh, we lost the whole group, so hopefully, I just hope that they come this way, not that way. What do you mean? Well, like, they could go that way. They don't know where they're going. Oh, right. But there was a pack leader in front of that big pack. Oh, okay, right. Let's hope no one gets lost, eh? It's always so hectic. Oh, this part gets gnarly. Hold it, hold it, there we go. Nice, and again. Yeah, <laughs> nice bro. Right, it's gonna get hectic up there. This? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks man. Frothing on the pipes. Nil zants. How funny, how funny is this? Bye bye darling. <laughs> so obviously I think that's another dancer. <laughs> that dude just ran away with my chick. <laughs> it's like she left me. <laughs> Full on left me. He's probably better looking, got more money. Ah, Mr. K Hawkins, how are ya? Good bro, looking suave, looks good. I shot that bike a little while ago, oh, it was like a year ago or more, more. Awesome BMW R65, so dope. Cans and that's absolute lord. Stories of a bike, he's made his own full on series on TV, which is ridiculous, all about bikes man. So sick, check it out, links are in the description. Go and check them out, suss them out, have a bit of fun. I can't believe Romina's off, <laughs> that's the weirdest thing, hey. Hey mate, they got scared. Oh, I'm all alone now. Oh well. We shouldn't be in this land. <laughs> it's okay. There he is. There, there he is. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he stalled it. <laughs> he full blown stalled it. Got his chick on the back. Trying to show off. Be all cool. Get photos. Holding up traffic. And then he stalls it. This right turns an early one. And there's a lot of heat coming from my pipes now. Woo. Like how I polished them up. Look at that, they're all shiny. Never done that before. Look at this damn lineup, man. It's humongous. It's getting hot. It's so hot. My balls. My balls. Some random dude. She just left me. She's like, hey, he's way more sexy. And I was like, yeah, he's fully in the show. And like, she was running late. He's in the show, yeah. It just happened to be that he was there. No way. How weird, hey. Oh, but he wasn't part of the ride. No. Nah. What? It was just random that he was just there. That's so sick. I see her helmet, but she's all like a V-star. Yeah, I know, yeah, that's right. Right? She's like all the girls. Ah, so yeah, V-stars get all the girls, yeah. Look at that. Ah, this is the worst one. Okay, we'll be right back. 
Oh, we made it out of there. Cool air, holy moly. Circular key, ladies and gentlemen. Harbour Bridge. We cruise up, we're gonna go over that. To the Opera House, we'll see it on the way back. A couple of photos here. Yeah, boy. Harbour Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. How good is this? Stay in the left lane, people. How epic is it? I don't know how much GoPro battery I have left, we're getting really worried about it. Could be sweet, could also be right on the edge. <laughs> so good. This here is a massive echo chamber. Look at this. This is like the dome of goodness. You ready? Are you ready for this? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Everyone revs up. And this is the awesome reveal. For Sydney Harbour, ladies and gentlemen, Opera House, dead straight ahead. To the right, we have the delicious city skyline with the Harbour Bridge leading off into it. Oh, you'll see it. We're gonna do a little loop around here. This is Kirribilli. All those playing at home, Kirribilli. If you're gonna visit Sydney, you're an idiot not to visit this. Look at this, are you serious? Looks so good, another photo up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, I had a miss. They didn't even look at me, damn it. Hello, hello. How good is this? This is just always a vibe around here. Ah, oh, under the bridge we go. Look at this. Under the bridge, Luna Park. Doosh. This is two way, so this guy needs to get in the left. Holy shite. Hello, little kitties. Hello. Oh, yeah, Joel. That was Joel. <laughs> awesome. Joel's an absolute mofo man. He's writing books. His wife write book, writes books. He's just started up his own company to help solo creators or solo business owners like be able to, you know, feel like they have a family, a support group. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, like that's so sick, man. He's, he's doing great, great things. This is Dewey. Yeah, Dewey! Woo! Almost fell off. Hi guys, so we're back from the ride. It was epic. I had um I had a mad feed. My GoPro did die on the ride, which sucked, but oh well. It happens. I'm so full. <laughs> I was so hungry. So we had lunch and now everyone's gone. Where the hell is everybody? What the heck man? Well, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Um, I guess that's it. Hey, I guess that's the that's the day. But DGR, man, if you've never done it before and you don't know what it's about, this is it. It's pretty sick. Everyone's on their old classic bikes. Everyone gets dapper. Everyone has a mad vibe. It's awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next week's vid. Woo!